Once again, a very good morning to everyone. And today, our devotion, I entitled it, Every Answer is in His Word. Every answer and every solution to everything you need is in God's Word. Hallelujah. Can you type it there before we go to our text this morning? Every answer of all my needs is in God's Word. Every answer of all your needs, my friend, is in the Word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And our text for this morning is in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20 to 22. I want to read to you in the New King James Version. My son, my daughter, my children, give attention to my words. The word attention there is you have to attend. You need to intentionally go, sit down, hear the word of God. That is the word attention. You have to intentional, intentionally attend the word of God you have to give up everything and focus on listening to the word so my son give attention to my word the word the Bible says incline your ears to my saying inclining is uh, you need to listen carefully you need to understand and uh, make it sure that there is no word that just passing by to your ears na hindi yung narinig mo lang at walang tumimo so inclining is make it sure that every word coming out from the mouth of the Lord you must understand kaya ang bawat nakikinig ng salita ng Diyos especially when you're reading the Bible is you have to pray pray in the Holy Spirit pray that the Lord will give you understanding hindi lang basta nakapagbasa Kasi marami po mga nire-require po ang pagbabasa and uh, marami din ay nagbabasa lang without understanding. You need to incline your ears. Meaning, you need to pray in the power of the Holy Spirit that you need to guide you and let every word may sink into your heart. In verse 21, do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. Glory to the name of Jesus. See? God's word are so powerful that in this verse of the Bible, it says that they are life. God's word are life to those who find them and health. Okay? Buhay at kalusugan sa lahat na makakasumpong nito. Not just kalusugan in the spirit but even in your flesh. It says here, health to all the flesh. Alam nyo ba that the word of God is so powerful that when it penetrates into our spirit and in even into our soul, it brings, it quickens, it brings healing and health to our bodies. Oh, glory. Sa ibang version po dito sa The Passion Translation is that listen carefully. Okay? Give attention means listen carefully. My dear child to everything that I teach you. And pay attention. You see? You have to pay attention. Meaning, do all the means and the ways to have attention. To attend to. To all that I have to say. And in verse 21, I like this, no? Uh, in this Passion Translation, Fill your thoughts with my words until they penetrate deep into your spirit. Hindi lamang po basta narinig natin, but fill your thoughts until it penetrates deep into your spirit. Meaning, hanggat nagkakaroon ng buhay ang salita na ating naririnig. And then in verse 22, here is the promise. Here is the fruit. When you pay attention and you let God's word penetrate into your spirit, into your heart. 
Sabi rito, as you unwrap my words. Habang binubulatlat mo, habang ito'y binibigkas mo, habang ito'y binubuksan mo, they will impart true life and radiant health into the very core of your being. All glory to the name of the Lord. Look, they will impart true life and radiant health. So saan po nagsisimula ang true life? When we give attention to the Word of God. Kaya nga po, if you have God's Word, if you have your Bible, don't, uh, you know, wag mamaliitin ang salita ng Diyos na nakasulat sa Bible. Actually, having a Bible is good, but you need to know and understand what is written in that word and you need to have a revelation. Pag sinabi nating revelation, dapat ang bawat salita na nakasulat diyan ay magkaroon ng buhay sa ating puso. So how that word of God becomes alive in our heart? We need to give attention, think of it, meditate on it and don't stop meditating on it hangga't hindi nagpe-penetrate sa yung espiritu. Sabagat kapag nag-penetrate na sa yung spirito, glory to God, it will quicken, it will become alive. And then, here is the miracle. The Word of God will bring life to you. Hallelujah. And even healing. Alam po ba ninyo na laging nagkakaroon ng uh, contradiction of what you feel, what you see in the physical? Okay? doon sa salita ng Diyos sabagat higit nating napapaniwalaan yung mga bagay na nakikita at nararamdaman natin but if you want to experience the power of God if you want to experience the reality of God's word that this is true real and it will truly impart life unto us and brings radiant health a divine health to us Oh, you better speak it and believe on it. And I tell you, you will surely receive the reality, the life, and the blessing of the Word of God. God has given us a sure way to receive the answer to our problems and challenges. Okay? Sure way. Siguradong kaparaanan Ibinigay ng Diyos sa atin Ang siguradong kaparaanan Para tanggapin po natin Ang kasagutan sa lahat ng ating problema At suliranin Sa lahat ng hamon ng ating buhay And you know where can we find it? It is in His Word It's in the Word it's in, it's in the Word of God Marami pong mga pilosopo na hindi po naniniwala sa salita ng Diyos na minsan ay uh, nagsasalita sila na mga salitang magbibigay ng uh, discouragement sa iyo. Yung mga salitang ganito. Pwede mo bang kainin yung Biblia mo? Pwede mo bang ipambayad ng bill ang Biblia mo? Pwede mo bang uh, uh, gawing protection ang Biblia mo? Okay. So those are the word to discourage Christians about God's word. You know the Bible is the word of God. The the Bible is just a piece of paper, you know, and there is an ink, okay, na nagamit para maisulat yung mga letra doon. But you know what? The life the life is in the letter is in every word written in there na kinakailangan yung mga nakasulat po doon sa salita ng Diyos na yan, sa Bible na yan ay tumalun sa puso po natin magkaroon ng buhay sa puso natin at doon yung sinasabi nila that uh, makakain mo ba yan? of course you cannot eat the paper but in every word written in there can provide for everything you need God's Word can bring life, can bring healing, 
can provide everything you need, can bring wisdom unto you, can bring promotion unto you. There in the Word of God. And even protection. Protection from the power of those wicked people. Because there's no such power that could ever pa- no, that, that, that uh, has power uh, more than the power of God. There is only one power, and that is the power of God that could destroy every power of men. So it is in God's word. Every answer or solution you need is found in the Bible. Hallelujah. Remind, be reminded, every answer or solution you need is found in the word of God. It's in the Bible. Yet, you know, many Christians are not walking victoriously in certain areas of their lives. You know why? Because the devil continuously wages his war of destruction against them. The reason why sometimes God's word couldn't penetrate into our heart at hindi po ito nagbibigay sa atin ng buhay because the devil is trying continuously trying and working to wage war of this destruction. Lagi kanyang ginugulo. Laging ginugulo isipan natin. Kasi nga, sa isip, no? The battle of every Christian is in the mind. Our battle is in the mind. Kaya nga po, kapag ang isipan mo ay uh, uh, negatibo at ang isipan mo ay uh, magulo, Okay? Uh, not focus on God's word and His promises, then the word of God cannot penetrate and cannot be meditated. You know? Hindi mo pwedeng ma-meditate ang uh, salita ng Diyos kung ang puso, ang, kung ang isipan mo ay hindi nakapokus sa kanyang salita. Especially when your mind is focused on uh, the situation, on uh, the negative things. You know? The devil has managed to take those word of God away from the one thing that can bring them victory. You know, what is that? It is the word of God. Alam niyo ba na magnanakaw? Sabi nga po ni Jesus doon sa kanyang uh, parable of the sower, no? The devil try to snatch and to steal God's word in the heart of people. Alam niyo ba na ang pin alam alam ba natin na ang pinakamahalaga sa ating buhay na maitanim sa puso natin na siyang kayamanan natin ay ang salita ng Diyos. At yung salita na yan ng Diyos ang siyang ninanakaw ng Diablo. The devil will not come to steal your property or belongings. Okay? The devil will not come to steal your money because uh, he knows na kahit nakawin niya ang pera mo kapag merong salita ng Diyos sa puso mo magkakaroon ka pa rin ng maraming promotion at maraming blessing alam niya na kapag anumang property meron ka kapag nanakaw ay uh, meron ka pa rin kapayapaan at babalik ng higit pa ang mga bagay na mawala dahil alam niya na ang salita ng Diyos ay makapangyarihan at kapag ito'y naitanim sa puso natin alam niya na hindi tayo maghihirap alam niya na walang saysay ang kanyang uh, ginagawang pagnanakaw kung ang nanakawin niya ay yung mga bagay lamang na nakikita natin. He knows what is the most important thing and what is the most valuable thing. The Word of God. Alam ng Diablo yon. Kung alam ng Diablo, alam ng kaawa yon. you must know it as a Christian that God's Word is the most valuable one. The devil try to steal the word of God. And you know what? He will do everything possible to prevent you or some Christians from opening the Bible because he knows that the word will deliver them. He knows, the devil knows that God's word will bring healing to them. He knows that the word of God will bring prosperity, will bring, uh, you know, Uh, deliverance to everyone who have 
God's word in their heart. That's why the devil try to prevent people from opening their Bible. You know, the distraction can be very subtle. It's so, you know, there's a lot of distraction, a lot of things to get done, you know. Yung bang, distraction ito eh, yung bang, wala akong panahon dyan kasi ang dami kong ginagawa. Yung iba nga, ano na lang eh, uh, na ibang mga members, no. <laughs> Yung bang, yung bang ibinibigay na lang kung ano po yung kanilang uh, support as so-called. Pastor, kahit hindi ako dumadalo, pinagpe-pray ko, nagpe-pray naman ako. O di kayo, pinapadala na lamang po, binibigay na lamang po yung kanila pong love offering. Well, that's good. But you know what? You must stand victoriously by having God's word, by giving time. You know, a lot of things. You know, uh, a lot of distraction given by the devil. Minsan nga, ang dami-daming uh, kung bakit wala tayong panahon na uh, makinig ng salita ng Diyos at magbasa because there's a lot of TV programs that interest you. <laughs> Lalong-lalo na ngayon, even in our cell phone, ano? Ang dami po nating napapanood dyan na hindi natin namamalayan ay ang dami ng nawalang oras sa atin. Okay? Or sometimes, ang mga distraction ng kaaway is this. It may take to the form of a big problem that uh, makes you feel that you need to focus all your attention. Dami-dami problema, pastor, sa negosyo, sa ganito. So, because of a lot of problem that the devil, you know, uh, throwing at us, then we no longer have time for reading and listening to the Word of God. Kapatid, kung meron ka mang pinagkakabisihan sa bawat araw ng buhay mo, make it sure that you always have time listening to the Word of God and reading His Word. Meditating it. At kung uh, meron kang uh, pinakamahalaga na gagawin sa araw na yan, dapat hindi nawawala ang number one. It's the Word. Why? Every Answer and solution to all your problem is in His Word. Gusto mong masolusyonan yung problema mo? Gusto mong masolusyonan yung uh, uh, problema sa asawa, problema sa anak, problema sa relasyon, problema sa pamilya, problema sa negosyo, problema sa sarili, problema sa lahat ng sitwasyon? You must now, as a believer of Jesus Christ and as a child of God, you must know that in every problem, the solution and the answer is in His Word. So, kailangan mo ngayon ay unahin ang salita ng Diyos. Meditating on it. Hindi yung sa dami ng problema, wala ka ng panahon. If that is your thinking and that is what, 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 what you are doing, my friend, meaning you are giving solution to your problem in your own way and in your own strength and in your own wisdom. Kaya minsan, lalong nagkaka, uh, nagkakaloko-loko ang buhay. Lalong nagiging magulo. We need to have faith in God's Word. The enemy knows that if he can get you to take your eyes off the Word of God, he can keep you from winning the battle. He can keep everyone okay, from winning the battle if you don't really understand and realize the power of God's Word. Kasi kung naniniwala ka ng salita ng Diyos ay uh, totoo, kapatid, sabihin ko sa inyo, you have to give time to the Word of God. Kaya nga po napakaganda itong morning devotion natin because uh, after that we pray, okay, we hear a song, hallelujah, here we are, listening the Word of God. So just join here. But of course, make it sure that you also have a moment with the Lord. Yung ikaw lang na nagpe-pray ka kay Lord at yung, yung time mo rin na nagbabasa okay, ng salita ng Diyos. At maririnig mo ngayon dito, yung mga bagay na hindi mo naintindihan doon sa iyong pagbabasa, it might be the answer is when you hear in this program, 
and it might uh, be a revelation na nagko-confirm sa iyo kung ito'y nabasa mo pagkatapos narinig mo sa ating programa then it is a confirmation that God's word is really true at kapag merong confirmation ibig sabihin nagbibigay ng buhay sa iyo you know when you are when you are going through a tough time a hard time or a difficult time in your life it is not enough to know that God's answer to the problem is somewhere in the Bible hindi po sapat yung, ah, ang sagot nasa Biblia. Yes, every answer and solution is in the, in the Bible, but you need to find the scripture, if, scripture in which God has promised the solution. Punta ka dun sa salita ng Diyos, the scripture na yun, you have to find it, and then meditate on it until the truth of, the, of that scripture is revealed to you. Okay, that's what we need. You need to go to the Word of God. Ano ba yung mga kailangan mo? Ano ba yung kailangan mo? Healing? It's in there. Okay? You have to find it. First uh, Peter chapter 2, verse 24. If you need healing by stripes, we are healed. It is past tense. And then you have to read uh, Isaiah 53. Ano? If you need uh, uh, provision, supply, then it's, it is written. You have to go to uh, the book of Philippians that the Lord will supply all your needs hallelujah and then when you go back in the Old Testament kung papaanong pininubayad ni Lord ang lahat ng pangangailangan ng mga Israelita in uh, the wilderness oh glory to the name of Jesus you have to meditate on it and you have to speak on it and I tell you if you got that revelation and, and that word of God penetrate into your heart then you have to expect it Let your mind and your thoughts and your mouth be filled with thanksgiving now. Alam nyo kapag ang tao po ay napuno na ng pasasalamat, that's the time that uh, the manifestation is uh, uh, will, will, will follow. Okay? So you have to meditate it, the Word of God, until the truth of that scripture is revealed to you. You know, when you do this, No demon or evil can prevent that word from God bearing fruit in your life. If you are going to meditate the word of God, I tell you, no evil can stop you from bearing fruit. Lahat ng pangako ng salita ng Diyos ay magmamanipas sa ating buhay. Hallelujah. Actually, even si Jesus Christ, eh, He used the word to defeat the devil in the wilderness. Ang sabi niya ay, it is written, Men shall not live by bread alone, but in every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So, the way to defeat the devil is with, it is written. Kasi, sometimes the devil also uses word, No? It is written, sabi niya kaya lang, wrong interpretation at uh, wrong context, no? wrong application. Kaya kaya kailangan magkaroon po tayo talaga ng guidance if we don't really know yet how to apply the Word of God, we need to have a guidance. No? Okay? Pwede po kayong tumawag sa amin. Okay? Pwede niyo pong tawagan si uh, Pastor Walter as long as I have time. No? Wag lang po ako yung nagdadrive o meron akong kausap o nasa meeting. I make it sure that I will give uh, attention to every one of you. No? At uh, I know it is my joy and my pleasure to minister to every one of you. No? If you don't uh, if you have something na you don't understand in God's word. Oh glory to the name of Jesus. So, kaibigan, God's beloved, there is no substitute for the written word. God tells us that we will find life and health if we give our attention to His Word and keep it in the midst of our hearts. So get into the Word of God and let God's promises abide in you. Hallelujah! Again, get into the Word of God and let God's promises abide in you. Just write it down. From now on, I go to the Word of God and I expect God's promises to manifest in my life. 
you have to expect it. Again, meditation is uh, thinking over and over. And also meditation is just uh, speaking it out. Alam niyo ba kapag nagme-meditate tayo, ninunguya po natin yun. If you're meditating the Word of God, you're chewing the Word of God. If you're gonna chew the Word of God, kapag, kapag parang pagkain lang yan eh, kapag, uh, if you're chewing the food that we're taking, no? Digesting it. Ibig sabihin, kinakatas po natin yung nutrients, yung energy ng foods natin kinakain. At yung foods na yan, habang, uh, uh, while we do chewing it, and then that, that uh, energy, Okay, coming from that food, it will supply and penetrates into our physical body. You know what? Men shall not live by bread alone, but in every word. Meaning, if we gain strength, if we gain, you know, uh, if we get strength from the food that we are taking every day, we get life from the Word of God. We get the answer and solution of every problem we had in God's Word. So how to do it? We need to chew it. We need to digest it. So that is by meditating. And of course, meditating once again is you have to thinking it over and over again. And then you have to say it. You have to speak it. Hallelujah. And then the last one is you have to give thanks to God for it. I tell you, if you're meditating the Word of God, as the Bible promised, in, in, in Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, if you don't let this book, okay, the part from your uh, heart, okay, from your life, from your mouth, then if you're going to meditate it day and night, I tell you, you will be prosperous and successful, the Bible says. I love it. Prosperity begins in the inside of us. And if you have now that joy in the inside of you, prosperity begins in the inside, then it will manifest in the outside. So once again, every answer we need is found in God's Word. The Lord bless you. And may this devotion this morning encourage you and strengthens you and even, you know, ushers you to go deep into the Word of God, listen again and again with the Word of God that, is, that are being preached by uh, the men of God, okay? Yung mga lingkod ng Diyos sa panahon natin ngayon. Pero syempre, ang pakikinig po natin ng salita ng Diyos ay dapat laging nakaangkla kay Kristo. Okay? Ang pagiging po natin ng mga salita ng mga nagpapahayag ay laging kay Kristo makukuha ang lahat ng bagay. It must be centered and addressed to the cross that everything we have is at the cross. Only in Christ Jesus. Not in your efforts, not in your way, but in God's way. And God's way is Jesus Christ. Of course, we need also to learn, okay, yung mga step by steps but we can learn that from school. We can learn that from uh, uh, yung mga practical. Pero, bago tayo pumunta sa practical uh, living and practical knowing step by step, we need to understand first and foremost that all of it, the blessing, your prosperity, your protection, comes first and foremost in the Word of God. Kaya nga po, dun muna tayo nakaangkla. Ano? And I know that the Holy Spirit will guide us. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. I speak blessing to you right now. I speak the Word of God to manifest in your life. And I declare that the Lord will give you a heart longing for His Word every day. And the Lord will give the very desire of your heart to please Him and to believe in Him. Believing Him is pleasing God pleasing in the sight of God. So, let your heart be filled with God's Word. And no evil can distract you. No evil can destroy your faith. You are enclosed with God's power and enclosed with the blood of Jesus Christ. You are protected. 
In Jesus' name I declare. Amen. Thank you so much everyone. If you are new to this program once again, just say this prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you for loving me. Thank you for giving your life. Today, I receive you. I believe in you and I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, thank you for dying at the cross for my sin. I receive you and declare that you are my King. You are my Lord and you are my Savior. Thank you for the gift of eternal life. I receive it now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.